Fernando back with another video and another build. Um, this one actually is my personal PC. Um, I'll be posting up for sale soon and offer up. Uh, reason being, uh, to be honest, it's a little bit too much computer for me. Uh, I really like building PCs and I get overboard with specs and performance. Um, in reality, I don't really need this much power. I play a lot of old school games like World of Warcraft, Star Wars Real Republic. Uh, really low spec game, so this is kind of overkill for me. So um, I'm not gonna see. I'm not gonna be happy seeing it go, but I'd rather have somebody that fully utilizes it rather than it just being here, being used at you know five percent of its performance. So I'll boot it up right now and show uh, boot up speed. So this is fully custom PC build. I'll go over the specs um, as it loads up. To show what's inside of it. Now this PC is legit ready to go. Uh, fresh install of Windows 10 Pro. Uh, so it does not have any of my information. Right there, look how fast that boot up is. Um, ready for its new owner. Uh, fully loaded with software and a couple of games to get everybody started. Uh, full RGB. Um, the fans. The front two fans and the back fan are full RGB, they change any color you want. Right now it's in rainbow mode. Same thing with the CPU cooler, it is a Arctic uh, it's a Freezer 50 RGB. Super cool. Same thing with the RAM, these are Geal uh, full RGB. Let's see if I can get the color change. Full uh, color change RGB. Uh, 32 gigabyte DDR4 3200. I got our bad boy EVGA for the Win 3 RTX 2080 Super. This is the same performance as a 3060 Ti, um, so definitely a lot of performance for the PC. Again, this is the Super version. It has three massive fans on the bottom there. Um, and get it? Yeah, right there. Three massive fans never get hot at all. Big massive uh, metal back plate. I do have the AVJ power link, so it, it moves the cables to the right side. That way you don't see them in the front. And then yeah, I also got braided cables for the CPU, motherboard, and GPU. Super clean cables. Um, yeah, there she is in all its glory. Super good looking PC, white and black build. Um, in terms of specs, uh, let me open up a couple software programs to show what's inside this beast. So for the processor, uh, we have a Ryzen 5 5600X, 6 core, 12 threads, pretty much a virtual 12-core uh, CPU. Um, it, it boosts up to, I think, 4.7 gigahertz, something crazy like that. Uh, graphics card, again, we got an EVGA RTX 2080 Super. This is the For, for the Win 3 model, so this is like the top of the line model. Again, this is to goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the RTX 3060 Ti. Uh, so it's almost at the same level as like a 3070, just about. So, yeah, GPU, CPU, um, memory, I got 32 gigabytes of DDR4. It's running at 3200 megahertz. And then uh, for our motherboard, we have a gigabyte B450 Aorus M. This is a high, the high performance um, MATX motherboard. You can do overclocking on it. Right now, I do have it at stock speeds, just again, because the CPU already alone boosts pretty high, so I don't really have to do any overclocking. Um, so, in terms of performance, really good PC. Uh, Windows 10, professional installed, activated, not a bootleg copy. Let me get this yeah, properties. So there you go, Windows 10 Pro. 32 gigabytes of RAM, 64 bit processor, or, or version of Windows 10 Pro. Uh, it is a fresh install, and I did install a couple of software uh, apps for the new owner to get ready to get it started. Uh, for the power supply, this thing has the EVGA 
850 gold rated, um, fully modular, I think it's the 850 GT, uh, EDJ gold. Um, the power supply and the graphics card are both uh, from EVGA directly from their B-Stock. Uh, so they both have about a year warranty on them. So uh, keep in mind that you do get a year warranty on the graphics card and the power supply. Uh, EVJ makes incredible products, so I don't have uh, a doubt that any of these parts will go bad, so really high quality parts. I do have a Be Quiet 120mm fan on top there for extra cooling. Uh, this PC is fantastic, it has the case, it's an NZXT 510 Flow, so the whole front here is mesh, uh, which is fantastic because you get suck so much air going inside. Um, this thing does not heat up at all. And this giant massive CPU cooler. You can game all day long, video edit all day long, stream, whatever you can throw at it. Uh, this baby's gonna handle it without issue. So I have the glass removed just so I can show the in internals. Um, on the posting, when I post it up for sale, uh, you'll see it with the glass panel. So I do have a, the glass panel. I just wanna do it this way to show the, in the internals. Super clean build. Um, yeah super clean white black build uh, ready for a new owner again Windows 10 professional in terms of software installed pre-installed um, uh, we got process explorer which lets you show what's running in the background uh, CPU ID monitor that way you can check out all the software and temperatures malware brights for antivirus C cleaner for cleaning software VLC media player plays any type of format of video or, or uh, music audio uh, GeForce experience for your graphics card uh, we got LibreOffice. Um, this is an open source version of Word, uh, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, Power PDF editor. You can edit PDFs. Um, and then I have uh, Adobe Illustrator and Acrobat. This is a CS2 version. Uh, it's on the uh, on the older side, but still super usable if you want to mess around with editing pictures, uh, creating designs. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, a pro uh, editing software for videos. Blender, if you want to make motion graphics like any YouTube introductions uh, or animated uh, videos. Uh, then I have Serato DJ, uh, if you want to mix uh, music uh, tunes. Uh, MSI Afterburner to show the temperatures and uh, info on your running games. Uh, we have a couple launchers. We got Steam, we got Battle.net, we got Epic Games uh, launcher, ready to go for whatever game you want to play. You just double click those, log into your account, and you're ready to rock. Um, currently, I have two games installed on it right now. It is uh, Warzone and Fortnite. Those are the two most popular games right now, so I want to install those uh, for the new owner. Uh, for for hard drive space, let's see. We have, I think, five terabytes total. Uh, so the main drive is a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. Uh, it's a Gen 3, but it goes up to 3200 uh, megabytes per second, so 3.2 gigabytes per second transfer speed and write, read and write. Uh, we have a secondary SSD SATA, 500 gigabyte. Uh, if you want to store your games to boot up super quick, uh, if you have a giant um, Steam library, game library, or you want to do a lot of video editing, I have a third media and games hard drive. This is a four terabyte. So we have 500 gig, 500 gig, one terabyte of, of SSD, NVMe, and SATA SSD. And then a four terabyte of of, of uh, traditional hard drive. Uh, this is a new hard drive. Um, it has it's the uh, inter, enterprise um, model of a Hitachi drive. So it's an enterprise. See, yeah, it's an enterprise Hitachi drive. So made for businesses. So it's super high quality, long lasting. Uh, four terabytes is a ton of space for all your games, video, music, whatever you want to do. Um, this computer is great for somebody that wants to get into hardcore gaming, latest games, AAA titles. Uh, you can play them in 4K, 1440p or 1080p, high refresh rate, um, you name it. Um, this thing's going to play whatever you throw at it. Uh, if you want to start streaming or get into streaming, this will be a perfect that NVIDIA card will let you stream and play your games all at once. No need for a capture card. Um, the uh, CPU has enough horsepower for handling all that as well. So it's a really good combo. Um, really high-end PC. 
Um, again, I'm selling it just because I don't really fully use it. It, it gets used, uh, I don't know, two times, two times a week, and then maybe for an hour session of gaming, and I'm mostly playing World of Warcraft or Star Wars The Old Republic, some, some MMO, and so this is kind of overkill for what I'm, you know, what I play. Um, I don't really stream or do video editing, uh, so again, um, super happy to have it, but uh, I don't really use it to the full capacity, so I'd rather have somebody use it full capacity. Uh, I've been building PCs for 16 years now, 17 years. Uh, I love building PCs, love doing high-end stuff, medium tier, even budget stuff, but uh, this is my own personal rig, ready for its new owner, super clean, uh, super fast. Uh, it can handle whatever you throw at it and it's going to last you a long time. But yeah, I just wanted to show the PC. Uh, we'll be posting up on sale soon. Um, it does have a Wi-Fi card built into it. It's an Intel uh, 6E, so it's going to do 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and uh, 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That's the new, the new uh, band that, that they're releasing super fast. I think it's like 1.7 gigabytes per second, something crazy like that. Uh, also has Bluetooth 5.2. Um, you can connect Xbox controllers, so you have Xbox One series controllers to it if you want to play your games with a controller. Uh, you can even connect a PS4 or PS5 controller to it as well, so pretty neat. Uh, headset as well, you can hook up a headset if you want to do Discord or whatever you want to do. Uh, again, streaming. Perfect PC uh, to handle anything you want to do. Um, I, kept, I do have a uh, Internet Explorer installed. Um, not Internet Explorer, I mean Google Chrome. Uh, ad block on it, so no commercials on YouTube. Um, super quick. Uh, I'm going to do a speed test to show the speed of that, of the um, Wi Fi card. It's pretty crazy, I'll show you. So, do a speed test. We'll run a speed test right now. Yeah, 400 and almost 470 megabytes and yeah, 480 almost. Yeah, upload speed uh, about 25 megabytes per second. Not bad for a uh, freaking Wi-Fi. It's not it's not hardwired. If you were hardwired, uh, you get pretty good higher a little a little bit higher speed, but not too shabby. You're gonna have Almost 500 megabytes download, 25, 24 upload, pretty quick. Um, but yeah, there she is in Ox Glory. Um, it'll be bundled up with a mechanical keyboard and mouse. Um, it is a blue switch mechanical keyboard. It's a 10 keyless, so it doesn't have the numbers on the right side, or has a miniature keypad, I should say, uh, and the mouse as well. Both of them are RGB. So it'll be coming with this bad boy. Uh, it'll be coming with a HDMI cable, power cable, um, remote for the control for the lights. Um, the lights are fully changeable. Um, if you cha if you boot up, um, I think it's Gigabyte RGB. What is this called? Again? Uh, RGB Fusion. You can change the color, uh, whatever you want to change it. So let's say you want to do red. You want to change it. You want to change colors. Let's see, digital static. So I want to do red. I'm going to change it to red. I'll change the RAM to red as well. Static. There you go, red. And then, um, we want to change the graphics card. We have the uh, EVGA um, software. So, yeah. RGB Fusion is for the RAM and for the CPU cooler. And then the EVGA software changes the graphics card. Um, so, LED change. So let's go red. Okay, and then we'll apply it. There we go. And then, we want to go full on red. 
red mode. I got our, I got my trusty remote, so it'll come with the PC as well. So there you go, full red, black, and white build, very hardcore. Red color, pretty awesome. You can change it to blue, green, purple, pink, you name it, whatever color you want. Uh, I know a lot of people like the uh, the RGB status, so that's usually what I leave it at. Uh, it shows you the the different colors that you can go into. Yeah, so I'll go that, and then we'll change the mode. So all the colors. And has a has an animation color like that too, so changes different colors. You can do like half circles, moons, you name it. Pretty neat. Full color mode. But yeah. Awesome little PC. Oh. Uh, ready for its new owner. Sad to see her go, but happy to know that she would go somewhere to, that she's actually being used to the full capacity, not what I'm doing for. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the video or, or the watch of the video. Catch you next time.